Turner family has been making footwear now for 200 years and we were the first people in Britain to make brown boots for the general public back in the day when everyone wore black boots. So even for 200 years we've always been known for innovation and bringing new things to the market. Now the most important thing for me when selling safety footwear is making sure that the wearers are comfortable. Okay, so we have invested lots of time and money into researching how our boots fit the wearer's foot. Different regions have different foot shape. For example, here in Trinidad, the wearer's feet tend to be a little bit broader across the joint. And when I sell into the Asian market, that tends to be a little bit narrower. So we're constantly taking three-dimensional scans with special x-ray equipment to come up with the perfect shape for our footwear. So this is all about comfort. So all of our footwear allows for the round of the heel, gives you a good fit over the top of the foot. But our toe caps are very wide and very deep, so you will never crush the top of your toes, even when sitting. So, what's another aspect of comfort? In this climate, heat and humidity is a big concern. And we've done some research, and guess what? We found out in a 10 hour shift, each foot can give out half a litre of sweat. We make special linings, such as this one in the boot here, which will absorb all of that moisture and pass it out through the lining of the boot into the leather. But the leather is the most crucial part because all of this perspiration and moisture has to pass out of the boot into the atmosphere, ensuring the wearer has a con consistently dry foot. Many of our competitors use something called action leather, and I'm going to explain what action leather is. So this is a piece here, looks great, looks just like your normal leather on your shoes. The difference is, they make this leather by getting a full cowhide, splitting it down the middle. So now we've got two pieces of leather, but they're a little bit thin and they're not going to last very long. So the manufacturer changes the leather by adding a plastic lip. And you can see this here, and I'll pass it round in a minute. It's coated with plastic. Therefore, all the moisture which has gone into the boot breathes out through the lining, comes to the leather, hits the plastic lining and has got nowhere to go. And this is why you can get bad feet, athlete's foot and foot disorders because there's a build-up of moisture and the boot will never dry out. So let's just imagine a toe cap on the end of your foot and every time you take a step your foot is having to lift that toe cap. So we've developed something called perfect balance in our footwear and we no longer use steel toe caps, we now use composite, so it's plastic. It will still take the direct hit, the same as the steel toe cap, but it's far more lightweight. In fact, we've done some research, we found out that the average wearer takes 10 to 12,000 steps every day, and the difference in lifted weight of lifting up this toe cap all the time, as opposed to composite, is two tonnes of lifted weight by the end of your shift. So that's the same weight as a sedan car. Also another benefit with composite is it will not conduct electricity. Steel is great at conducting electricity. Composite will never cause a spark. Metal against metal can create a spark. And if you're selling into a refinery business, oil and gas trade, this is very, very dangerous. And last but not least, in the sunlight, steel gets very warm. Composite remains very neutral in temperature. But perhaps the most important aspect is the safety of these caps. If, for example, I get a very, very heavy weight, like a site forklift or a crane, accidentally drive over my foot, both of these toe caps 
will lose shape, they'll start to crush. What will happen with the steel is it will crush flat over the wearer's foot and the wearer then can't get his foot out even when the weight is taken off. With the V12 composite cap, as soon as the weight is off the toe cap, it will spring back, and this is guaranteed, it will spring back to a minimum of 90% of its original shape, allowing the wearer to take his foot out of the boot and go and get first aid. Now this is the second part of the safety. This is the protective midsole, which runs underneath the boot and saves you when you step on a nail. Stops the nail from penetrating into your foot. Traditionally, manufacturers use a steel plate, which is very effective, but it's very heavy and very inflexible. And just imagine walking around with that strapped to the bottom of your foot all day. It's not good for your foot health. Here at V12, we now promote the use of Kevlar, or ballistic nylon. It's exactly the same as the police will have in their stab vests or bulletproof materials. So it will stop nails very, very effectively from penetrating. But the added benefit is it's very, very flexible and will flex with the natural movement of your foot as you walk all day. And to further enhance this experience, we have something called a shank in all of our footwear which sits under the lateral part of your foot and gives you arch support for if you're ever working on ladders or even when you're just taking a step because this allows your foot to flex naturally just behind the toes in the way your foot should as opposed to many manufacturers make footwear which flexes all the way through causing an unnatural strain across the muscles at the bottom of your foot and your plantar fasciitis. Last but not least, I'm coming to the sole unit and the underfoot platform, we call it. So firstly, we have the insole, footbed. Secondly, we have the mid layer. And last but not least, we have the outsole. So let me run you through the benefits of the V12 underfoot comfort experience. We've done lots of research into shock absorbency and the way shock waves will affect the wearer as they're taking a step. So every time the human takes a step, shock waves run up the leg at about 100 k, 100 kilometers an hour by the time it hits your knee joint, slowing down to about 70 at your hip. But the point is shock waves will start to damage your joints over the years. And this is something that runners will experience more, but it will affect the wearer of any everyday purpose boots. So what we've developed is special insole materials to cope with this uh, shock. This is a piece of composite EVA used by many manufacturers in their insoles. It's very, very soft to touch. This is six mil thick, what I have here is a piece of the V12 insole material. It's only three mil thick, but let me demonstrate how much more effective this is. I'm now going to drop a ball bearing onto both of these surfaces, and I want you to watch the difference in the way this rebounds. So imagine this is a shock wave. So lots of bounce on the EVA. Imagine that as a shock wave traveling back up your leg. Now with our material, the ball stops short. All the shock waves are dissipated, so it doesn't matter how high I drop this from, the result is always the same, as opposed to the EVA, which kicks that shock back up your leg, causing damage to your joints. And when you twin these two layers up, it will give you the perfect underfoot experience. And I'll pass that around to the audience to have a feel. Lastly, slip resistance and the outsole. V12 have spent many, many years working with BP and other oil and gas companies to come up with the optimum sole for slip resistance. Every year, three billion in claims 
goes around the world on people who've slipped up at work. So this is something very close to the heart of any health and safety officer. What we did with BP is we tested our souls on Kennedy grating, on scaffold boards, on tarmac, asphalt, concrete, painted surfaces, and we then mix these surfaces with oils, hydrocarbons, glycerols to make sure that our soul unit would work on any real life situation. The result was when we handed our soul unit in for testing at Sartre, they said this is the most effective and slip resistant soul unit we have seen to date. Our soul units comprise of lots of forward cutting lines to cut through liquids that might be on any surface and always have something called a ladder breast on the heel. This is so if a wearer is on the rung of a ladder and slips, it will stop sharp slipping through the, the rung of the ladder. So again, just stops any slip. Most other competitors use polyurethane. Polyurethane in this climate, as soon as you get heat and water and humidity, will break down and turn back in to a to its compound material, to a dust basically. But our material, rubber nitrile, once it is set, it will never break down. So if you're selling this to a company who's having to store boots, perhaps for an offshore situation, they will like to hear this. So their stock will be consistently safe for a year. It won't break down, it won't decompose. All of our soil units comply with the SRC standard, which is the most stringent test on the European testing.